Okay, today I am filming my Dooney and Berg handbag collection. Now, I've been wanting to film this handbag collection since probably 2005. And today is February 3rd, 2024. So I'm gonna try to start in order from the oldest purse in my handbag collection to the newest uh, purchase. So this is in a, a Dooney and Berg duster bag. So my duster bags are collecting dust, as you can see. And um, I put a few, of, you know, it looks like I have about four purses and duster bags because I can't use all these purses at one time. But I will tell you that I take these purses out and I use some of them like once or twice a year. Uh, they're good for weddings, funerals, parties, going out to eat, working. You know, I have a purse for different things. There's purses I have for shopping, which you'll... Uh, You'll see how I use my purses as we go along. Okay. So this purse is dusty. So that means that I put it in the duster bag after the dust collected. Now this purse used to be uh, um, this is a I think it's called a drawstring purse yeah but it used to be very uh, formal and kept its shape but I went to uh, I think it was SeaWorld with the children and I shoved it in a locker at SeaWorld and the purse has never been the same since I kept shoving it into lockers. I also had a locker at work. So as you can see, it has the Dooney and Berg logo from 1975. It has the little duck Dooney and Berg decal though old school one and it has a drawstring it looks like it has some junk in it but we'll get to that I'll empty that and cut that out so you see the back part of the purse it does not have any feet some of the purses have feet this one does not Oh, the age of this purse. So this purse is, it's at least 20 years old. I want to say this purse was purchased in 2005 from Macy's. This was my first duty bag purchase. So I'm going to take some of this junk out. Actually, I need to show you what's in here to help give it some sturdiness and some shape. Okay, this was purchased on Amazon. This goes inside your purses and it can give your purse structure and shape. So this is not a product of Dooney and Burke. This is from Amazon. And I love this. Okay, so this purse has a key fob. They all have key fobs. It has a zipper and you can see it has Dooney and Burke right here. It has that old fashioned, that old school flip flop phone uh, pocket. So you know it's old, but you can see the inside, the interior, the material is still beautiful. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put this back inside. And you see how it smashed down like that? And I'm gonna tell y'all something, this feels good. The reason I started buying Dune and Berg purses is because they're reasonably priced. They're only hundreds of dollars as opposed to thousands of dollars. So it's a quality issue for me. And it's also an economical issue. So I purchased this uh, first Dune and Berg purse on, uh, from Macy's in a, in a round, I'm gonna estimate 2005. And it's a drawstring purse. So let me tell you the story about what made me start investing in this purse and why did I pick the drawstring style? So first of all, <clears throat> my cousin had a tan and brown, no, it was a cream and brown Dune Inberg drawstring purse. And we were in high school and she would put the purse on the table like this and hers had structure it would still stand up on its own. It had a lot of structure. And she treated it like a brand new baby, you know, very gentle. You know, she would open it up gentle. She would look in it and she had a wallet to go with it. Oh, that wallet was the same color as the purse. The wallet matched the purse. And I was jealous and I said, if I ever get some money, or when I ever get some money, I said, I'm going to buy a purse like that. So I bought the purse. Long story short, when I showed my cousin this purse, she had no recollection of ever owning a Duna and Berg bag. She told me, I do not remember that purse. And the reason she doesn't remember is because she probably has a Louis Vuitton collection now or something like that. And let me tell you, when I bought the purses from the department, not the department stores, uh, I want to say you call them box stores, but I don't know if they're box stores. Anyway, when I bought the purses for like $20, all the handles would start cracking. This leather does not crack. This is quality. When I bought other cheaper purses, my straps would start cracking. The threads would start unraveling. It, it was a horrible mess and I would waste my money. Now, as you see, this purse is almost 20 years old. And, you know, it's, it's still in good quality. You don't see any threads unraveling. None of that. So, right now, the economy is not so good. So, I wouldn't recommend people go out and get a Dooney Bird collection. But money comes and money goes. So I would say, once the economy starts booming again, which I have faith it will, then you can buy, you know, quality things uh, because you're gonna need it. You know, you're gonna need quality things. So I use this purse maybe once a year. And uh, it was my first purse. Now, another thing I said about this purse, which I forgot to tell you, I told my coworker that uh, I wanted to buy an ice purse to hold my money. And money is a blessing. Money, people say money is the root of all evil, but it's the love of money. But what money is, is just, it's a blessing. It's a blessing from God. It really is. So I wanted to have, you could say it's a money bag. It's a big 
money back. Okay. So let me go to something else. Okay, I think this wallet, it didn't match the black drawstring purse, but I think I bought them together. I have to be careful because I think my address is on it. So, um, This is a zip around wallet. I used it for many years with the black Dooney bag. It's a ostrich letter it can hold a cell phone it can hold the old checkbooks which i don't use i don't uh go shopping with checkbooks anymore this was a uh, purchase at macy with the black drawstring purse around 2005. now this these two were the second purchases that i made from macy's now, I used to have a Macy's credit card. And I used to use it quite a bit to buy my, because it, it was a Macy's American Express. So I used to use that to buy our electronics when I was raising my family. And, uh, you know, our cell phones, our computers, and our, and I used to buy some handbags from Macy's with that. But now the interest rate is so high, I don't recommend it. I really don't. By the way, all my handbags are paid for. All of them are paid for. Um, I have credit cards, but I'm paying them off quickly. Like as soon as I charge something, I try to pay it off the first billing statement. If, if it's a large purchase, I may go a few billing statements or whatever I have to do. I bought this at Macy's and I actually have the date for these things because I found, you know what this is. And I wrote September 1st, 2010. So I started a little collection. And I think this registry card goes with this purse, this little wristlet. Okay, so this wristlet, wristlet is vers versatile. It has a zipper. You can open it up. It has one pocket inside. And you can wear it like this or or you can wear it like this. Now, I used to use this purse for the movies. When we would go to the movie theater, I love to bring this purse and we would sit and watch a movie. And I would put this purse on my lap and it was awesome. Okay, this is a letter carrier. I used this for many, many years. Hopefully it's empty, yeah. Okay, it has a pen in it. I feel a pen. Okay, so it has a front pocket, which I used to put my cell phone right here. And I would wear this across my waist securely when I went shopping. It has the key fob. It has a zipper and it has two pockets inside and it's a beautiful red interior inside. It has the Dooney Burke logo. Now, I do not think this is real leather. And then this is a little logo, a little charm. It's real cute. But I don't think this is real leather. This, it feels like a hard vinyl. You can look it up, I don't know. 
but I like it because is you can go in the rain, you can wipe it, you can clean it. And as you can see, it pretty much looks brand new. None of the uh, straps are ra unraveling. I see this little thing here, but this could be cut. But as you can see, the straps are in good shape. Okay, so I'll see what we have next. Okay, I think I went to San Marcos. Okay, so this is some stuff that I bought in San Marcos and other things disappeared. So I'll have to tell you about that San Marcos outlet mall. So I don't know when I went there. I guess it was around 2010. Okay, what else did I buy in San Marcos? I bought this. And some of the things, I, a couple of the things I bought went missing. Okay. There's a Dooney and Burke store in an outlet mall in San Marcos, Texas. So I wanted to go out there to that Dune and Burke outlet. So I drove. And if you want me to do a road trip to San Marcos, write it in the comments and subscribe to my channel. I would love to make a business trip out there and film it like a road trip. I haven't been to San Marcos probably since 2010. And I promise you before this year's out end, I, I will definitely plan a trip. Um, I'd be happy to, it, it would just give me pleasure to do so. Okay, so I went to San Marcos around 2010 is the estimated time to the Duna and Burke outlet store. And I bought, I purchased four items. I remember I went there with my son and my son does not like to shop. He does not like to shop. So anytime I went shopping with my son, it was a quick trip. Okay. So I'm going to take this out. <laughs> now, this is a satchel. I don't know what kind, but this color is very pretty. It's, uh, I want to say it's a berry color, like a red color. It has this little tag. This purse has some blemishes. So I, I did stop using it and I can show you, let me zip it up because I think I have some t-shirts in here, which I'm going to take them out and show you the inside. But what I want you to see, most of the satchels have little feet. They have the little, it looks like a little gold feet. And the blemish is right here so nobody can really see it when I wear the purse when I go out with the purse I get a lot of compliments but this is something that really stopped me from wearing the purse and now I understand I could probably get this repaired but I don't want to because I, I can still use it like this I would probably cut this little white out and then just be gentle with it. So that was the blemish. The other sides seem to be okay. Everything else is fine. Um, it feels good. It, it, it actually feels like leather. I mean, it's soft. It's pliable, but it does sit on its own. You have the shoulder strap which does not, it doesn't look like it's removable, but it, oh, it is removable at the buckles. 
and it un yeah i see it is removable okay so let's open this up and i'm gonna take the stuff out oh it had uh i stuffed it with paper because if you don't stuff your purses with something they'll kind of take whatever shape they're left in they'll mold to the shape with the heat they'll mold to the shape and with the heat the humidity you know my house is air conditioned but it's not climate controlled so i don't know what's going on half the time at my house okay Okay, I have a bag here for all the junk in my purses. Okay, so I have used this purse. Hey, I've used it since COVID. I've used it since COVID because we have another mask. So that would have been 2020 time, like 10 years after I purchased this purse. Anyway, it has pockets. I have a pen here. This is like, looks like the pocket, maybe for a phone. There's another pocket here. And you see the logo zipper pocket. And you have your key fob. Most of them have uh, key fobs and things. It's a pretty red interior. Love this purse, guys. I love it. I have used it. I've gone out to eat. I've uh, used it at work. I've put it in my locker at work. Uh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, here's a little Dooney Burke logo too. Right here. Yeah. This is nice. This is nice. Okay, so the story... And I also purchased this wristlet at the uh, San Marcos Dooney Burke Outlet store. And I used to go jogging with this. Once upon a time, I used to jog on a regular basis. Nobody would know it now. And I used to put this wristlet when I would go walk in the park or jogging or something. Now inside, that's uh, for your credit cards. One of these zippers was getting jammed. It doesn't, maybe it was this one, and I didn't like that. However, it doesn't seem to be getting jammed as much. Seems like it's okay. So the story behind the San Marcos trip, I bought four bags i bought this this and i bought two shoppers one of the shoppers had db uh imprint all over it like the greta but it was a shopper it was monogrammed all over like that and it looked like it was made of linen so I use that one for the beach. I, I, you know, everything you can do with a shopper. Then there was another, that was a big shopper bag. So I used it a lot when I traveled. Now I had a small, that was a tan large shopper bag with the uh, DB logo all over it. Now I had the white shopper bag that was medium size. And a co-worker begged me to uh, sell that bag to them. Because when you go to these outlet malls, you can get a good sale. Sometimes you can get half off. Back then, that's what I was getting. And still today on the website, I'm getting 30% off, 40% off. Every once in a while, half off and 60. Not, not too often, no. 
So I told her, no, she kept begging me, begging me, begging me. That's how people will do you when you have these purses, I'm telling you. She kept begging me, begging me, begging me to buy that white shopper that I had never used and I gave in and I reluctantly gave in. Solely to her for what I paid, which I think was around 78 or 98. I'm sure it was half off. And I regretted it ever since. I, I, I never stopped regretting it. I still regret it to this day. Um, if I ever see a bag similar, I might buy it because I feel like it's a bag that I should have had. But it, and I did have it one time. Now, the other uh, shopper bag is it, either lost or stolen. I don't want to accuse anybody of stealing. I used to keep my bags in my den. Well, actually, I kept my bags all over the house. So, I don't know. I used to, but now I'm trying to take care of them. But they're so durable. So, that bag disappeared. I don't know where it went. I don't want to accuse anybody, but that bag disappeared. Okay, so let me put this up. After, well, actually, after I finish this video, I'm going to stuff this bag again. So I'll, I'll leave it outside of the duster bag. Okay, so I have to figure out what I purchase next. Okay, let me try to fix the camera again. Okay, so this was the next purchase. Let me check my notes to see if I put an estimated date for this purchase. And this purse, should have been purchased from Macy's. I put 2008 for this purchase, but it was estimated and I think I was off. So I think it should have said 2010, but anyway, I didn't keep a record. This is a hobo. This is a Dunenberg hobo two pocket purse. I remember the name had two pocket in it. So, hobos don't keep their shape, but they're comfortable. You can throw them around. So, as you can see, I love the way this feels, okay? All this leather feels good. It has an ice little logo here, and it has the two pockets. This bag has some t-shirts in it. Now you can see that beautiful pink and white interior inside. It's beautiful. So you can hide little things in here like your tickets. If you're going somewhere and you need a ticket or something like that. Now the handle for this off-white color or this cream color, this handle held up very well. The threading still intact, buckles. Everything is still intact. The bottom looks good. The corners look good. Only mild little scuffs. Okay, so I'm gonna take out, oh, two dimes. They said that's good luck, huh? Money, see, I'm getting money. Money is coming, see? See? The money is coming. Let's see what year these dimes say. Won't they be interesting? I'm gonna have to take off my glasses to see that, for reading glasses. 
Okay, so 2,000 and five. And this one is 2,000 and 10. 2005 and 2010. Money is coming, y'all. Okay. It's coming to everybody because you're watching this video. So that means it's coming to you. Okay, so let me take out all these uh, t shirts. So we have even more money, just money over money coming, y'all. Now this, I used to go to a little, uh, it was a little Catholic store. I'm a Christian, but I'm not really, you know, uh, denominational like that anymore. Cause I've been to so many religions and so many churches, but anyway, it says prayer of faith. And this is frankincense and myrrh. Now, you know, these were gifts of Jesus, and it says Matthew 2, 11. So as you know, as I've been collecting purses, I've been praying. I had some anointing all, so I must have been going through some things, y'all. That little store closed down that was selling this. It was a little Catholic bookstore. I forgot what it was called. They still send me emails though, I think. But anyway, it's it's anointing and blessing oil. So, y'all, I did not know that this was in this purse. So this is a blessed video. So here's the key for all. It's a deep, deep hobo bag purse, like a sack. Just like a sack, you would go buy some groceries and fill it up and you put it over your shoulder. Yes, you do. So it has that old flip-flop phone pocket. No, you can still put, I don't know. I, I have a big cell phone, so I'm not sure. And it has the Dooney Burke logo. It has a pocket. It has that pretty pink interior in here. And so I'll have to stuff this back when I finish. But it's a hobo style purse with two pockets. Okay, I'm gonna guess that this was the next uh, bag. Now, th the, the purses I just showed you are all old. Now I'm gonna show you the newest uh, purses. So what happened was, I went back to school, okay? When I went back to school, I finished and I got a, a higher degree and my income increased. Um, and then I treated myself. And so I bought several Duna Inberg bags within two years. That was, after, that was after COVID. So all these bags that I'm about to show you were purchased from 2021 to January, 2023. Cause I stopped purchasing in January, 2023 to start my business. And I wanted to put all my extra money on my debts and my business. So I didn't want to buy handbags, even though they're paid for, but it can be a waste of money if you have other uh, goals. Okay. So this was purchased as a work purse. Now, I forgot what it's called. I might have to take a peek at the notes. This is a Pebble Grain Celeste Satchel. I paid $178.80 for this. 
surplus tax and it was probably discounted because these bags cost uh, three to four hundred dollars regular price now what I like about buying these bags from the actual Dune and Burke website or their outlet in San Marcos is that you get a discount. If you purchase these bags on Amazon, they will cost more because people buy these purses from Dune and Burke at a, as, at a discount and then they resell them on Amazon as full price, okay? So I have, no, I purchased one bag off Amazon and I'm gonna tell you what it is. I just thought about a bag, but I used it. I used it as a lunch bag. Okay, this purse was supposed, or satchel, was supposed to be, and it still is, it's a computer bag and a purse. So I was gonna use this as my computer bag at work because my employer gives me a heavy laptop. The laptop I use at home is a MacBook and it's lightweight, but the laptops I use at work, I think it's a Dell computer. It might be a 13 inch. The one I have at home might be 12.5 inch, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's real. The work computer is very heavy. So this purse did very good. It fit the computer, but it was tight. It was tight. So I have this uh, stuffed. So I'll take the stuffing out. It does have a strap and you could wear this over your waist with the strap, which I did that several times and I enjoyed it. Wearing it over the waist with the strap helps to distribute the weight of the computer. So let me go empty uh, this bag and I'll come back. Okay, so what I like about this uh, Celeste bag is that it has a braided handle, if you see this. This is braided or weaved. I love this. It's so elegant. It keeps its shape. I love satchels that keep their shape. Now you won't see me shove this bag into a locker anymore. See, you learn and as you get older, you learn how to take care of your things. So this purse will not be bent up folded or shoved into a locker anywhere. Okay, so you see it has the straps to go with it, the shoulder uh, across the body straps, or the shoulder straps. You have the Dune and Berg logo right here, which is nice. You have the nice strip of leather the metal feet, and I can tell you it feels good. These purses also smell good. It's something about leather. I don't I don't know how they get it to smell good, but I like the smell. Cause I grew up in the country. We had cattle and, and uh, so I'm used to that leather smell cause we used to use the all the part of the cattle we used. To. So it has a nice weave zipper inside it has three pockets place for the phone it has a zipper it has the dooney bird logo right in here it has the key fob it has a pretty red interior now i use this for my computer and i also used it maybe once to go to the bank I made several trips to the bank to start my business. So that's how I used that. Okay. So this is the uh, Pebble Grain Celeste. Okay, let's see what's next. I also bought 
I have my notes right here. So I also bought a large coin purse for work for $46. And that, that coin purse is at work, so I'm gonna insert a picture on this video after uh, I finish. I paid 46, it was regular price 76 plus tax. I hear the mail. So I'm expecting a delivery of another Dooney Burke. Uh, Okay, so the new Dooney is delivered, guys. But I'm gonna do uh, a part two video with the unboxing. As you can see, somebody has cut open my box and looked inside, and I hope my purse is still in there. I felt something like the purse was still there. So hopefully it's, it's still in there. We'll find out because I'm going to do a part two unboxing and just talk about this purchase. Okay. So I'll put this away. Okay, so I had to go to Macy's. I'm gonna get everything that I purchased that day from Macy's. Okay, so, like I said, I was having problems with my Apple Pay. So I drove on out to the Macy's at the uh, closest mall. And I purchased a new, I call it my little Letterman shopping bag. This is called Penny something. The style is called Penny something. So it replaced my old Letterman shopping bag because this one was wider width. See the old one I had, you see the difference? That's a big difference. So it replaced that one. It had the side, outside pocket for the cell phone. It sits there real cute. You open it up and it gets wider at the bottom. It has the beautiful red interior, two pockets, a zipper. Now I noticed this is the only Dunenberg bag that I have that does not have a key fob. It has the shoulder strap. I've used this several times. I keep this in my car and when I use my backpack at work and I want to go shopping after work, I put my wallet in here and wear it across body and I go shopping. The wallet that I purchased now, all four of these things together at Macy's cost $1,000. I know, it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe, but it's paid for. Okay. So, I bought this on my Macy's, uh, my Macy's card, I think. So, this was the wallet that I bought with it. It's like a, a, a card bill. It's like a card fold wallet, fold up wallet. It has the logo. It has the uh, DB. It has the pocket. Pretty color. Inside you have a place for all your credit cards. I just took all my credit cards and my my license out of here for this video. It has the Dooney Bird print right there. It has an extra hideaway here. 
it has an extra hideaway here. Now this, I feel something. This came with a wallet that I bought on Amazon. I'm gonna tell you, I tried to save some money and this, this is good quality, but it's, it's not leather. It's not real leather, guys. But this protection from people reading your credit cards, it's a blocker. It came with this wallet from Amazon and I used this before I went back to school and uh, got, you know, upward mobility. I was using this and it was good. But I always felt I didn't like the way it felt because it felt synthetic. That's just how it feels, synthetic. So I took this out and I put it, and I think it would go better right here. And it will protect people from reading your uh, credit cards. So there's a lot of extra pockets in here. There's place for money. I don't know how much is in there. I collected all, I like to put cash in each purse, but I, uh, this is cash from two wallets I had. I put it together. Cause I said, I might as well just put the same money from wallet to wallet. But sometimes I like to have a cash backup, but I mainly use credit cards, y'all. I don't use cash. Not, well, yeah, not too many people use cash anymore. So um, that's that. Okay. This wallet, I just stopped using a week ago and started back using this one. I used this wallet for the past year. It's like a billfold. This is where you can put your old time checkbook. I used to use some checkbooks. I had my credit cards here. I had my license. There's an extra sweet secret, secret pocket here. Extra pocket here, extra pocket here. So much. I used to have some money right here, cash. And you couldn't see it. You could also hide some cash here and nobody would see it. You can put a uh, checkbook here and this can be like a checkbook wallet. And it has a zipper. I enjoyed this. I still enjoy it. And it kind of matches this a little, but it's two different letters. This one is an Italian leather, and this one is the pebble leather. You can actually see the skin cells. This one is just treated different. It feels good. Okay, so I think I want to move this stuff because this purse, it's not an extra... I, it's not a large purse. I think it's medium. It's medium. And it was probably close to $500 too. <clears throat> okay. What's the name of this? Gosh. I, mean, I have to look at my notes, y'all. I have to look at my notes. Florentine Satchel from Macy's. I wrote down that I paid 400, but I think I paid over 400, but not more than five, because the whole thing, everything was a thousand. So this was probably, it could have been 550. I paid too much. If I had been able, if my Apple Pay had worked on at uh, um, Dooney and Burke website, I would have got a discount. I would not have had to pay so much. But I got frustrated. And I, I just went to Macy's and, and spent the money there. So anyway, so it has these, I want to call them what are these called?
Anyway, I'll have to look that up later. But this is pretty. So you can see, um, this feels good. This is, feels real good. And you can see the red and the green colors peeking out. The green peeking out here. Here's the Dooney and Burke label. Underneath, you have the extra um, leather and the feet. So it's very nice. I use this at my son's graduation. I use this going out to eat. I used it at work a little bit just to test it out. But it's not a real work purse because it's too nice. It's too nice for the kind of work I do. The kind of work I do, y'all, I need a backpack, okay? That's the kind of purse I need for work, so. Okay, as you can see, this pretty velvet, or I don't know, this feels soft. It's green and it's red inside. You have the uh, an extra strap that can go on the shoulder or across the body. It's nice, it's a shoulder strap. Now inside, it has the key fall up. It has a pocket, another pocket, and a zipper. And it has uh, Dune Inberg since 1975. So this is a great purse. This purse, it's a, it's a satchel, Florentine satchel. But what I want to say about this purse is it's, it's just so elegant to me. I really enjoyed this purse. And I'm sure I'll enjoy it for years to come. It's called the Florentine Satchel. Okay. Let's see what's next. This was purchased on Amazon.com as a lunch bag. I get a lot of compliments on this. I probably paid $178, which I maybe $150, whatever I paid. I felt like I paid too much. But this is a discontinued item. So Dunenberg is no longer selling this. Check the camera. It was real good. Um, I could spill water in here or coffee. It would not leak. Then after putting large, uh, heavy water bottles in here, it did start to leak. I used super glue. I patched it up. It was leak proof after the super glue. I get more comment, uh, compliments from this Dooney and Burke bag than any other bag I have. Okay, so that's that. I got it from uh, Amazon. I don't advise buying Dooney and Burke's from Amazon unless like that was a discontinued item. Okay, um, next. Okay, what is this? This is a large shopper. Okay, so the uh, computer satchel that I bought, I felt like it was too tight with my, com my work computer because my work computer was large. So I decided to purchase this large pebble, hot pink, 
shopper with a zipper. And I loved it. I used this for work. It fit my work computer. It fit a whole bunch of stuff. This could fit your computer, your lunch, your binder. Huh. If you need a large bag, this is your bag right here, okay? Now at the bottom, it has the extra leather strip with the gold feet. Hmm, nice. DB Little Charms. I love this. The DB logo here with the little duck. Love that zipper. So if you need to find something quick like your tickets, look at that. Or your mask. I'm going to just leave it there. But you see the material? Okay. This inside, I'm not going to take it out. This uh, did not come with the purse. Actually, I will take it out because some of you will want to see it. Okay, so I'm going to pull it out. Okay. This was purchased at Amazon. You can buy these at the uh, same size as your purses. And you can put them inside your purses to help organize your purse. This is a purse organizer and you get it from Amazon.com. Okay? And then it gives your purse structure. So this is the inside of the purse. And... As you can see, it's large. You can see, you can put a lot, I'm putting my hand in here so you can, so you can get an idea of the size. This is a large purse, a large shopper purse. It also has a key fob. It has the zipper. It has uh, the Dune and Burke here. It has three pockets and then you can put an organizer from Amazon inside and it's the perfect color and it just brings it out and it just helps that purse to give it structure to stand up on its own like that I love it the only complaint, I'm going to be honest with y'all. The only complaint I have about this is these straps are small. If you put this over your shoulder with something heavy inside, it's going to start eating into your shoulder. So you always want to get a strap that's large for your shoulder. Now, I use this purse for my work bag for a long time. I use it when I have to go somewhere and change clothes. I use it uh, when I went to the bank and I had to put my business binder in here. So I've used it for work, business, and pleasure. I, I mean, it, it's a good bag. The only thing is if you don't like the small straps, beware of that. But I'm sure you could buy something for that. I don't know what. Okay, let's see what's next. I think I purchased this next, but let me look at the notes. So that large uh, tote bag or shopper it says I paid $248.55. Now I'm going to show you a small hobo bag. This one. It's a pebble gray. Small hobo bag. I paid $172.12. 
Okay, so why did I purchase this? This is an everyday purse. And I purchased this to supplement my other shopping purse. It's just a different style. That's all it is. So the other one is a letter carrier that can go across the body. This is a purse that you clutch to your shoulder. Okay. So it's a small hobo. Now I bought one just like this afterwards because I loved it so much. I bought the next size up as a gift and it was not a hot pink. This is like a red or a punch color. Anyway, so I bought a pale pink. It was a very light pink purse, one size up as a gift for someone. And this is the kind of purse that when you buy it as a gift for someone, you want to keep it for yourself. I mean, really, I'm serious. I have trouble giving people gifts unless I have the same thing. Okay, so I use this to go shopping sometimes. It has a pocket zipper in the front. It has the uh, Dooney Burke logo. This has a large shoulder strap. Comfortable on the shoulder. It does not dig into your shoulder. Cute little charms. The Dooney Burke charms. It has the extra leather and the gold feet. Inside, it has the key fob. It has two pockets. It has a zipper. It has the Dooney Burke embroidery right there. I enjoy this purse. Okay, let's see what's next. Let's pull up the Greta. This one was uh, $209.72. Okay, so this was, uh, this dust bag was $8. So you can buy extra dust bags to keep up, to keep your purse in. I like this dust bag. It, it actually feels feels nice. It might be linen, I don't know. But it's soft. Okay, so this is called Greta. $209 and some cents. And I know it was on sale. The Greta, I wanted this purse, I saw it. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger though. It's just a... It's just a large purse, it's not an extra large. And underneath it has five feet. You can see the DB logo. You can see the DB decal right here. It has two side pockets that are pretty pretty big. There's another little pocket right here. Inside the side pocket. Let me see if it's on this other side too. It is. Okay, so let's open this up. Sometimes I use it just open like that. It, it reminds me of a little bucket. Just a little bucket. It's so cute. Anyway, it has a shoulder strap. I never really had problems with this. This is long enough to be a crossbody. Um, it never dug into my shoulder because I never had anything heavy in here. It has a key fob. It has three pockets. It has a zipper. And you can see the Dooney logo. Love this. This purse is just pick up and go. It can hide a lot of things. 
has a lot of side pockets. If you open everything, you can see, you can put a lot of stuff in here. Or you could close, snap it and close it. I've gone out to eat with this. I've just rolled around in my car and put this on the seat. And it's just like a person. <laughs> okay. What's next? Okay, backpack. So back to work. Now I bought all my little purses to go shopping and my little leisure bags. But then I had to come back to, to work. Now I don't know why I bought this small backpack. I think I just was just thinking backpacks but anyway these are backpack styles let me see if I wrote down one is a zip around backpack okay this is the last purchase that I made in February 28th of 23 and it was 60% off sale I stopped shopping in February, 2023, because that's when I opened up my business. And I was gonna start putting all my extra money into my business. And I, I had enough uh, handbags. So this one is called the Alley Backpack. And I like that name, because I used to have a, um, uh, Aunt Allie, she's passed away now. But now, the next time I use this backpack, I'll think of her. It's called the Allie Backpack. It, I, I paid $195. It says that was 60% off. Okay, so this does fit a laptop computer. It's very comfortable with the straps. I use it at work right now. Um, it has a little pocket here, which I never use. It has the nice little Dunenberg logo since 1975. It has feet. It's a drawstring. It has two pockets and a zipper. That's that Dooney Burke logo. It has the key fall up. It's a beautiful color. My laptop from work fits in here. It's comfortable on my back with that heavy work laptop. The only thing I don't like is the laptop comes all the way out on the sides. It pokes out, but I've been making it with it and it, you know, so I said, I want to get another one. So I did order another work backpack, which I'm going to do a part two open box reveal. This backpack I bought, but this is like a purse. This is like a purse. I could have done without this, but I'm glad I have it. I love the color. It's elephant. It feels good. It's a zip around. It's a zip around. Like a purse backpack. It zips all the way around. It opens up. It has a key fob. It has two pockets. It has a zipper. It has the Dooney Burke logo. It's a nice backpack purse. How much did I pay for this? It has the feet at the bottom. It's a little, it's smaller than the alley backpack. So I would say medium, large. And the new backpack that I ordered that was delivered today is gonna, I'll say it's extra large compared to these. So this uh, Pebble Grain Zip Pod backpack was $145. I think that was all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up this video 
And then I'll do a second video, a part two, with the box reveal of my new backpack that I uh, just purchased. And I'll go into detail about why I purchased it, how much it cost, what date I purchased. It wasn't even made yet, y'all. It was a, a pre pre-selection. That means they had to make it. So it, it sort of makes me feel like it was specially made for me. So I'll do that unboxing video with all the details as a part two of my Dooney and Burke handbag collection. But again, if you want me to take a trip to San Marcos and film it, um, that's the Dooney and Burke Outlet Mall out there. If you want me to film it, subscribe to my channel. And put in the comments that you want me to take that. And uh, I'll try to get it done within six months. I can promise that because that's reasonable. Because, you know, I do have a job. This is just uh, leisure stuff, but it might be sooner, it might be. And it depends on when y'all subscribe and put in the comments because you, you all may not see this for several years. So that's another thing. So I would like to plan a trip when they have a sale. So we'll do that. Okay, thank you. And don't forget to watch part two, the unboxing. Be blessed.